Who class, yeah. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. The full commitment's what I'm thinking of. Any other guy, I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around. Welcome to Teeny Corner, where we talk about things and stuff over a cup of coffee. I am Cindy. I'm Anon. And today we're talking about traveling, which none of us can do. Because we miss traveling so much. So (laughs) we decided to make an episode about it so we can rant and talk about our nice past memories. (laughs) Of distant memories. Yes, our distant memories. (laughs) It's been like two years now. Yep. I used to travel every single year, which is... I mean, that in itself is like a privilege, right? Mm, but just casually flexing. Yeah, but it's like I wouldn't go to, you know, like Italy and like have like a really nice apartment and like penthouse. Penthouse and like go to the beach every day. It wasn't like that. It was like, you know, maybe just to Korea mm. and like in a really cheap Airbnb. A budget. Yeah, budget traveling. Yeah. But like even budget traveling is nicer than not traveling at all. True. I mean, so we managed to like went to a couple places in um, within the country. Yeah, so that was still like that was still okay. Okay, but we couldn't really do anything outside, though, except no. during the uh, the jazz festival. Yeah, when the situations were more, you know, chill, mm. where everything was like, "Oh, we're gonna be fine," like you know, and then they were like, "Nah." Let- let us mutate real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> fucked, up the, fucked up the whole world again. Hold my beer. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but yeah, we went to travel within the country for like a, a few days last yeah. year. No, no, we went twice. Yeah, so we went to down south and then a bit uh, east. Uh. Yeah. And then we went to... Uh, we went... With your cousins as well. Yeah, so that's a bit too easy. And then we went to... Hohin uh, Jazz. Your place down south. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we did a little bit of traveling. A little bit. Yeah, but it's not the same feeling. Yeah, the because like, remember like we went down and then like half the city just died? Yeah. Straight up like died. So yeah. like, that's not, a bit depressing. Not, not straight up died, but like it not was Not the close. people itself, but like <laughs> the economy and the, yeah. the shops. yeah. Yeah, it was like completely closed because usually it's, I mean, south, in south of Thailand is very, usually very jolly. Yes. <laughs> and it's very, because it's very hot and like it's a big beach city, so right? It's very tropical. Yeah. So it's usually like, ah, oh, like relax, go surfing, yeah. like, ah, oh, have some food, have some beer, yeah. let's party, you know. But we went there and it's just like, Silence. <laughs> Dead quiet. <laughs> yeah. But I have a house there. So it's yeah. like, or I don't have a house there. My parents have a house there. So. And everything's so expensive. To visit them. It depends like, on where you go. Like the street food wise. Because yeah. like they kind of jacked up the price for the tourists. When you go the, to the tourist areas. Yeah. Yeah. Like even on the beach. Yeah. Like it's the same price you pay in Bangkok. Yeah. It's like, what? Yeah. What? Bangkok is still more expensive than Phuket though. Yeah. Like in general, but like, mm. some, remember that roti we bought? Mm. I was like, wait, how much do I have to pay? I'm sorry. <laughs> it was like 50 baht. He was like, am I in Bangkok right now? Yeah. But yes, traveling. So I've, <laughs> so I've been talking to uh, a few people. I'm watching a few people as well. And I realized that so many people, it's kind of like a stereotype now to be in the same situation as I was. So right before... <laughs> Mm-hmm. This exact line is what I've seen a lot. Right before COVID hit, mm-hmm. I was going to go to Japan. Oh, yeah. So a lot of people apparently say this. But right before COVID hit, I was going to go to Japan. Like, <laughs> like, for real. For real, for real. So actually, I've never been to Japan before. And it's one of the countries that I really wanted to visit. But... Um, to live that weep dream. 
Yes, exactly. But like, so the only reason why I held back is because I know for sure, for sure, usually like I'm a pretty stingy person, but for sure I know that if I go to Japan, I'm going to spend so much money. Like, even like, if I hold back, I'm, I know for sure I'm going to spend and I want to spend because there's so many things I want to get. I can confirm that. Yeah. So it's like, I always been scared of going just because for the sake of my wallet. Mm. Um, so I just never went, but then, uh, during that time I had the funds to go and then I was kind of like, you know, emotionally prepared to go. Mm, so I was like, yeah, money. let's do it. And I bought the ticket with my friends. Um, luckily we got it refunded, but still it was just like such a shame. Yeah. Cause the last time I went there it was like three years now. Mm. Um, so I think I was there for about 10 days or so like almost 10 days. Excuse me. Um, and so I arrived in the evening. Mm. So the first day doesn't really count. I got like, I got there, dinner, and then sleep, right? On the second and third day, I went to Disneyland, Disney Sea. Mm. I already spent 50% of my money in the first three days, mm. like straight up. Mm. I was like, oh shit, now what? And there's like many other more places to go. Yeah. Um, so after that, I went to. One Piece Museum, which is in uh, Tokyo Tower, and went to Ghibli Museum, which also drained the shit out of my wallet. It's to the point where, like, okay, I don't think I want to spend cash anymore, so I'm just gonna, you know, pull out the credit card. <laughs> Thai card. <Rich> boy. <laughs> it's not even a credit card; it's a debit card. Oh uh, dang! Right? Yeah, yeah. So the the conversion rate, I get charged for that as well. Mm. I was like, I really want this. And I don't have enough cash. So I'm like, mm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm scared of when I go. But for now, like, I'm just, I just want to go. Mm. So, like, to replace that urge, I've actually been to Korea at least, at least four times. So either four or five times already. That's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. That I started going when I was in uni and then I just, like, Kept popped by. Because it's, it's not that expensive to go from Thailand. Yeah. Luckily. And the thing about Korea is that I really like it, but there's not a lot to do in terms of stuff that I can spend my money on, mm -hmm. you know, except for clothes. Uh, and I don't buy a lot of clothes anyway. Mm. So, so I felt like safe going. <laughs> and then I know yeah. some people there as well. So I just like, you know, go casually. And there's so many people here who want to go. So I would just get asked like, oh, you want to go to Korea with me? I'd be like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> for weekends? Yeah, sure. Why no, not? let's go. It's like a week, you know, yeah. like just a week there and then go back. So like, what do you spend most over in Korea though? In Korea? Um, Drinking? Not really, because uh, I don't go clubbing that much. Um, but usually people who go there, they spend the most on clubbing. Right. Because um, it's fun. People who like clubbing, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not that much of a... I like dancing, but I don't like... The clubbing culture. I've never in Korea been to clubbing in Korea. So I went there in like 2010 mm. uh, with like big families, and of course I was underage, uh, so I didn't get to do anything. So it was too much. a tour, kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's very different. It's yeah. very very different. So in Korea, um, I mean, of course, it's like different types of clubs, but um, in the most like touristy and the popular areas, it's mostly hookup clubs. Right. Uh, did we talk about this before? I feel like we did in the uh, Living Abroad episode. I cannot remember. I think we lie. did, but I'm not sure. But anyway, it's been like over that. a month. I don't have <laughs> you know that long of memory. Yes. <laughs> so it's um it's kind of like a hookup club where you go to find somebody to spend a night with, right? Um, and that's not really what I'm looking for when I go clubbing. I, I just want to you know let loose <laughs> and we, dance like a crazy person so yeah we definitely did i just remember the did, right? the meme i put in for that <laughs> you want some funk <laughs> yeah yeah that one <laughs> yeah i was thinking about that too so i was like hmm we did but yeah it's like that uh i do like going to pubs or like barbecue bars. places drinking at a so i don't eat meat anymore but the first time i went i was still not vegetarian mm-hmm it's so fun to drink soju, uh, soju and beer 
at a barbecue place. You get absolutely destroyed so quickly. It's so fun though. It's so fun because like you were sitting, out, you were sit outside and you have like your little grill and you're like with a person you uh, we do whatever. I was with my friend at that time mm-hmm. and she's also like a hoffy. Uh and she she doesn't speak any Korean. I speak like baby Korean. Like okay, I can say a few words. I can't even hold the conversation. Suddenly when I drink the when I drink, I'm suddenly like fluent. <laughs> yeah, that, that happens every time. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit there and you I, know you I started should... speaking Japanese when I was drunk at sake bar yeah, once. Yeah, it's like, like that, what? right? Because your brain just like turns off the whole yeah. like nervous overthinking yeah. thing and you just like say everything you know. So I will I would be sitting there. And this happened like a few times, like when I was mm. in that trip, because uh, I would rather go there than clubbing. Mm-hmm. But usually it's like old, like ajushis, like old men sitting there, or like yep. just like um, it's like some students as well. But it's mostly like older men, like mm. businessmen and stuff like that, right? Mm. And owners are usually also like businessmen. Mm. So I was sitting with my friend, and we we're like real and whatever, and I would just like strike up a conversation with the owner. I'd be like, Chokyo, like. Can I have some more soju, please? Like, oh, what what kind of meat is this? Oh, that's nice. Like, which one do you recommend? Oh, that's nice. And he's like, definitely not like into it. He's just like, mm-mm, mm-mm, okay. <laughs> the typical, the, the, she's like those people that the shop owners like, oh my God, it's these people again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they give us money, but like, <laughs> Like we weren't like disturbing other people or anything. Mm. It was just probably like, I don't have time to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, please talk to me. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but do yeah. you have any like measurements for your soju beer or soju bomb? No, no, no. So we drink, I, I drink it separately. Oh, oh. yeah. What? Why? Because so, um, I like the shot of soju. Right. So I like it because we had the bottle, right? And then we pour it into a smaller glass and have the shot. Yeah. So I like that. And um, for beer, I just like beer by itself. Yeah. So usually I don't really mix, so I don't really know about them. I don't mind so, it. So f- for those who, you know, never been to Korean barbecue or exposed to this kind of culture, they have something similar to Jaeger bomb, where instead of Jaeger, they put like soju, which is um, basically... Korean, yeah, Korean sake. It usually tastes pretty bad by itself, um, unless yes. you have like flavored ones like peach, peach or like Yakult good. and those kind of stuff. Those ones are fine. But usually by itself, it's pretty harsh. Um, uh, I would, if you know the smell of window cleaner, it's that taste. It just makes me gag. <laughs> really? Most like, of the time. I, I, I don't know if I'm used to it now anymore, but back then I was pretty used to it. So it's just like, oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so they usually would put like a shot glass mm. uh, of soju and then you put like beer in the glass and you just drop it in. Yeah, you, like the whole glass. Yeah. yeah. Um, there are many ways to do it. Like a lot of people would like grab like chopsticks, like hurt, to, like stab it in. Mm. Um, so yeah, there are like many ways to mix it. Mm. And usually the beers are pretty light as well. Mm-mm-mm. Height, right? The brand. There are like a few yeah. brands, but uh, usually the beer that they drink with is could be normal beer, but usually they, they would go for lighter flavored because mm. it's a, this is like added alcohol, right? And um, my friend over in Australia one time, like we were already 18, luckily. But then, you know, uh, just just to make sure that like you don't get into like any like iffy situation, they're like, I want to get drunk. They're like, okay. So I brought him to this Korean place mm. um, in, in Sydney there'd be like one guy who's underage as well, but that's not the story. Um, so I brought them there because I don't, I know that they're not going to check it. And the police usually, you know, don't check these people. And I ordered soju beer mm-hmm. or soju bomb uh, for them. Just like one set. They're just dead. They're just like pissed drunk. And the I was thing like, with soju is that, oh, I have a story. Did I tell you the story about my first time drinking soju? Yeah. Okay, so in general, I have a pretty high alcohol tolerance. So when I was in university, of course, like a lot of you probably did a lot of partying in university as well, right? And over here especially, um, the first year of uni is usually completely free in terms of alcohol. Because the seniors, we like 
treat you, you know, and then when you become the senior, you will treat the junior, something mm. like that. So the first year is like completely free, like everything. Free flow. Free flow. So of course you're going to get pissed drunk. <laughs> so you would go like party and stuff like that, right? So um, I quickly realized that I have a really high tolerance, even without having like a history of drinking. I guess that is because of my jeans, uh, my Viking Probably. jeans. <laughs> ah. Probably. But like, um, so I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's good because I don't want to get like super drunk anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so that's like how I lived my life, I guess. And then the first time I went to Korea was with a few of my uni friends and they... They liked, uh, you know, clubbing and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, but I knew that I didn't like it. So I was like, oh, that's fine. You guys can just go ahead. I'll just stay and like guard the Airbnb. <laughs> um, I'll just chill at home because I'm, I'm still also very comfortable, like just mm. chilling by myself. So I they did that and I just went to um, uh, D7, which is basically 7-Eleven. Okay. Over there. Um, so I think it's called G7 or like I GS7, no something idea. like that. Um, but there's a mini mart there. So I went there and I got some soju and some, some ow, and some snacks. <laughs> and, uh, I went back home mm -hmm. and I was like, Hmm, yeah, like this one should probably be like, you know, like vodka or something like that. Like it's probably like chill. I'll just like sip and like drink and like i mean sip and eat and like just chill out i was texting my friends uh back in thailand and like the u.s and stuff like that too i, I remember <laughs> i remember start, i started drinking mm -hmm. and i just remember waking up like how much do you drink though i only had one bottle only one bottle i had one bottle and i, I don't know how far i got i just remember i started um and then i i probably finished it or something but i woke up not remembering anything. And I, like, the thing is that I never forgot in a night ever in my whole life before that. So I didn't remember anything, but I was like tucked into bed. I had my pajamas on. I had like brushed my teeth. I had like, you know, washed up. So it was like completely, everything was like set. You autopiloted. I autopiloted. Because <laughs> then when my friends came, uh, woke up as well, I just asked them like, oh, did you guys talk to me when what I... What the fuck happened yeah, last night? Did you guys talk to me when you got home? And they're like, no, you you were already sleeping. I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? That's great. But yeah, it completely just wiped my memory. That's great. It was probably like a shock to my body. They're like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's when you found out that you do have high tolerance on certain alcohol, not mm, all of them. Mm, I don't because, know what it is about. Uh, well, recently you had like so quite a fair bit of uh, Prosecco. Prosecco? Yeah. Prosecco? Yeah. Huh? In one of the, the job I did. And I was like, you want to you wanna come have oh, like yeah, three yeah. drinks? But I had a lot of that though. Yeah. I had like a but lot. Like, to compare that on like whiskey or like beer, you can have like way more. Yeah. But mm, on Prosecco, do you like, think so? Because like for that one, at least I, I still remember yeah, true. part of what happened. With that one, like now if I drink soju, it's fine. Like because I know my limits. Mm. But... It's still just one bottle. Yeah. And I don't remember anything. <laughs> but for that one, it was champagne. Yeah. Yeah. Champagne. This, yeah. So I, I just, it was terrible. Mm. <laughs> but I had so much because it tasted so good. I was like, yeah, free flow yeah, again. Yeah, free flow, man. And I'm just like, yeah, one more, please. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> just like free <laughs> concert. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Was Minus say. the whole like getting sick afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, like the first time I had wine ever, my whole body like <coughs> died. <coughs> I had allergic reaction. I, th so I, I got, think I'm still allergic to it. No, like I got rash mm. all over my body. Like the whole body itch. Just like crazy. And it Jesus. lasted for like weeks. That's so bad. So I like kind of refused to drink for like the longest time. And then I started drinking something else instead. Like, mm. you know, whiskey, beer, it's fine. And then on the... When I first, well, when I started having wine again, the first few times it was still a pretty horrible experience because mm. I'll be having like one glass and I'll be dead. Like, but not yeah. rashing up. But yeah, I'm, I'm okay with alcohol. I'm not a, you know, heavyweight by all means. I'm just, I like to drink a lot. If I die, I die. <laughs> you just let it happen. Yes. Yeah. I autopiloted quite a few times as well. Yeah. Uh Going back to traveling, though. Yes. 
Uh, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, what else would I spend money on? Um, so food mostly, yes, as yeah. I think, and also makeup, skincare. Yeah, because like Korea is known for the skincare. The thing though is that it's very cheap over there. Good skincare is very cheap. So, hmm. Right now, even if I go like the last couple times, I don't think I spent that much money. That's why I go so often because it's just easy. Mm-hmm. But I will say that back when I was a K-pop fan, Jesus fucking Christ, like the money I spent on these boys, ridiculous, ridiculous. I wish I could take it back. Like, I'm sorry. Sugar mama. <laughs> yeah, it was basically like sugar mumming. <laughs> no regret. Many regrets. Like, I don't regret being a K-pop fan because like it was fun. Mm. But I just re- regret the amount of money that I spent. And you got nothing returned. Yeah, I got, I got, a, I got my hand held. And they were like, please come again to spend more money. <laughs> <laughs> you got physical touch in return. Yeah. <laughs> Is this some kind of like black market thing? <laughs> Jesus. You spend money to get physical touch. Basically. But yeah, uh, I used to spend a lot of money on mm. K-pop stuff. But yeah, if you don't do that, then it shouldn't be too, too much. Mm. Like even... Because I know like clothing of that's also very cheap. I remember there's this like, market, yeah. um, like entire tower that opens 24-7. Yeah. And you just go at any time and there'll yeah. be like clothing store. Yeah. So crazy. Like if you want kind of popular brands, you do have to pay quite a lot. Mm. Like um, Style Nanda, mm. um, like 1,000 up per piece. 1,000 baht. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's like, 30, 30 US dollars. Approximately. Approximately, plus, plus, plus. <laughs> even for like a simple t-shirt. Mm. So it's like brand clothing. Mm-hmm. But uh, you can get... The thing is though, like, if you care about the brand, which a lot of people do over there, then you should, of course, buy the real ones. But you can find the exact same thing in the market. But people yeah. will be able to tell the difference. Mm. <laughs> but still, like, if you just there uh, not to stay there, just get yeah. the market stuff. Because it's not like original clothing. Like, no. Thailand, for example, is very much street style, yep. very common stuff. Uh, it's just like the name. Just slap the name on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah. 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 Because, like, for Japan, I, <clears throat> I went there with my family once. So that was like kind of fine. Because uh, I didn't get to, like, you know, do much um, stuff by myself. But when I went there uh, with, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> so when when I went there by myself, uh, oh boy, oh boy, freedom. So, uh, Disneyland, Disney's like museum stuff aside, everything just so tempting I'm so I'm so tempted to buy everything yeah right even clothing <clears throat> even for girls because the cutting's like oh my god it's so nice and everything yeah it's like but I, I don't wear that yeah and like a lot, a lot of clothings are quite small um mm-hmm. if you ever watch uh like western youtuber who's like you know, you know like vlogging those kind of stuff and they have a complaint it's so true um I remember I got something in L and it just like tight fit. <laughs> well, not tight fit, but like it would be like considered like M, M or like almost S mm. like in, in Thailand. So it's like, like a big it's, S. Yeah, it's very small. And um, the shoes, size 43 so or about like 10 US, nine around there. It's either they don't stock it at all Mm. Or they would have plenty of it because um, nobody, nobody has that size. Mm-hmm. So it's like, eh. And if you happen to be a big <clears> girl <throat> or a tall girl, then it's quite tough. Mm. Because again, like the, the girls over there are quite... Petite. Yeah. I see, I see. I was going to say like portable size, but... <laughs> Pocket <yes>. size. <laughs> <laughs> That's more appropriate. Fun size. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Petite. Yeah, and like... Other things, like, as I have stated previously, I am a nerd, so I spend a lot of stuff on video games. Mm. But, like, 
Okay, it's quite weird going to video games uh, <clears throat> store over there because there are so many exclusive, like Japan exclusive games mm. uh, that you never see it outside there. Uh, so like, do I, do I buy it? And if I bought it, then I would not understand anything from mm. that game. Um, and like all the electrical um, appliances, is that is that a word? Yeah, the the tech yeah. stuff. Like anything what are you talking that, about? Like anything that requires for you to plug it in a power outlet. Oh. Usually have like different voltage. I've uh, said that yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like it's not really worth buying it unless you want to buy it to like collect it, which I did. <laughs> uh huh. I bought a second-handed refurbished uh, Super Nintendo, so SNES and um, Famicom or NES just to collect it because and it's reasonably priced as well because like you know they, they manufacture it if you were to buy that like outside of Japan it would be like double triple the price mm. so there are many collectible things to buy over there Yeah. not to mention like the figurines which has like the entire market for it the arcade holy shit um, yeah the one I'm most worried about is um, Gacha and the, uh, yeah, the, the arcade. The claw machine. The claw machine. Because the thing is that it's fun to play, uh, but I don't like clutter. I don't like small, like, items. So I'm worried about, because usually here, if I'm over here, right, I will see the price and I'm like, oh, psh, I don't need that anyway. Like, mm. this is like, I'm, I'm just going to look at it once and never mm. look at it again, you know? But over there, if it's like looks like if, if it's from like an anime that I like, for example, mm. and the price is okay, and I'm like, oh, I'll just try it a couple of times, ha ha ha. But even then, like I don't want want it. You can give it to me. Stop cluttering your place too. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's like everything is crammed together. Yeah, but I know where things are. That doesn't it's matter. <laughs> organized mess. It's not about the organization. It's just about like the mess of it. Yeah. I don't want like small items. But um, I think that <laughs> for the um, figurines, if I go in now, I feel like I will still buy some, of course. But I feel like I would have more self-control than like a few years ago. So I'm not too worried about that. But even then, like... If I want the quality ones, I'm sure it's going to be pretty expensive. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, for sure. Like, even just one. So I'm like, hmm. Because I remember there was this, like, one, not one, but, like, a few shops, but this one particular shop I went in where they would sell and trade uh, figurines. Mm. So you could buy, like, you know, the same one, but, like, much lower price. It's just, you know, second-handed. There would be no boxes for you. But, yeah, like, you could get pretty cheap ones over there as well, mm. which is nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so I will spend money on that for sure. But yeah. What's the last trip you went on? Japan? Last trip? Probably Singapore. Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Hong Kong. I went there for... Did you meet Corey? Family reasons. And yes, I did meet Corey. Nice. <laughs> After being friends with him and playing Gazuna for like years. How was it? He's pretty small. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> He's pretty small. <laughs> um, yeah, then we managed to went to this uh, noodle place, mm. which got Michelin Guide. Yeah. Which also he's been telling me for like years since I was in Australia. Was it good? Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> uh, Yatlok. So it's mm. like a roasted goose, geese, um, noodle place. Oh, it's fun we talked about. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah I see, I see. But oh my god, it's so closet. That country is like so closet. And yeah. But the good things about that is that almost, well, not almost, but like a lot of things are very walkable distance. Mm, yes, I agree. Um, even though it's just major incline and decline of. Yeah, hills. you will definitely get a lot of exercise there. I've been to Hong Kong a couple times. I think a couple of times. Um, when it comes to like countries that are kind of close to Thailand, mm -hmm. I, I lose count because it's just like, you know, with, no, because it's like with family and then it's like, 
uh, when I'm younger as well. Yeah, I don't know how many times I've been to Hong Kong. Yeah, exactly. So, and it's like, sometimes I go to Singapore, sometimes I go to Hong Kong, mm. uh, sometimes I go to Korea, yeah. uh, been to China once uh, with uni. But yeah, I've been to Hong Kong a couple of times. Last time it was for work-related stuff. Um, so that's also another thing. Like sometimes I forget I travel because it's for work and yeah, I don't true. feel like it's travel. <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, for work-related stuff. And it was a lot of walking. Like, yeah. cause it's just, you yeah. know, saving money <laughs> for the company. <laughs> so just walking up and down yeah. here and there. I went the... Um I only had like one free day, really. Mm. So I spent that um, looking for uh, coffee equipments Mm-mm. and meeting up with my friend. So yeah, that was cool. And then uh, for China, I can't remember like the exact capital that I went. Like, I don't know, Beijing, maybe. I don't know. Um, the exact capital? Yes. <laughs> I don't even know which capital city. Is, this, is it Beijing? Is it? Be- Beijing, the, cap- the capital city? Yeah. Yeah? Is it? Is it? Or what else would it be? Like, not Shanghai, is it? Shanghai is not. I think it's Beijing. Okay, yes. <laughs> oh no, we're, we're exposing ourselves. <laughs> uh, our like, lack and, of knowledge. And here I am, half Chinese. <laughs> My dad's side can speak Chinese. And I, all think, that. I think it's Beijing. But Anyhow, correct us if you're wrong. Like, yeah. Because um, like, my grandma is like, you know, still like super heavily related. So every now and then, every couple of years or few years, she would be like, let's go back to China, shall we? Let's go back to the village. So I legit like went back to the village, which I'm okay. I guess like I don't feel like any relation like related to them. Yeah, I understand so I that. And I can't understand them like not even a single bit and then everyone's kind of like, oh, is this the kid? You know, is it like that kid? I was like, that kid? What? Who? <laughs> so I was like, uh, hello. Sorry, yeah, I know what you, uh, I had the same thing with my Thai side of my family. Hmm. Uh, even though, because even now when I live here, they are, um, they don't really speak central Thai ah, and they speak well. like southern they speak south and Thai so even then like I can't really communicate with them I still feel like a foreigner in on the island yep um but yeah luckily like I grew up um hearing my mom speaks mm. northern Thai so I can't speak uh northern Thai but I can understand a lot of it mm. so yeah it was pretty funny because like when we went to uh <laughs> oh we did went to northern as well so yeah yeah we far. did true um true we did <laughs> happened to be jazz festival again yeah we went uh, to jazz festival like two weeks back to back yeah that was cool uh, but yeah we went to northern Thai and we were like having breakfast right and then there was just like old school style so it had like a massive what's it called a speaker yeah, yeah yeah, like the local speaker system where they would just announce of like what's happening in a town uh, this week or like this month and then they just like you know Speaking like a dialect and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, cool. There's like this thing happening. And she was like, what? I couldn't understand anything. Wait, <laughs> like, what? Because like, yeah, even this with thing. Southern, I can kind of understand. Like I get the gist of what they're saying, you know. Mm. But with the Northern, I, I, I don't understand at all. Like at all. <laughs> so I'm just like, And it's, hmm. it's funny because like usually the Southern Thai, they, they are known for like cut the word shorter. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the northern is like speaks slower than mm. usual. So it's like, you know, like very like, you know, chill yeah. like vibe where like the southern is like basically the Aussie. Let's go. <laughs> it's just like cut everything short. Everything's just It's too lazy to like say everything. Yeah. I'm no, just like, yeah. So that was, where was I again? I lost my train of thought. They were saying stuff and I didn't understand. And you were understanding and you were like, this is happening and that is happening. Before that. Uh, blip. So, and, you China? Yes. Village. Yes, China village. So, yeah, that happened. Um, I went to like Cambodia, which I think they, did they change the name of the country? I'm not sure Myanmar? if that was official. Myanmar, Laos. Double check that? Yeah, I'll, I'll double check that. Anyhow, I went to Cambodia. 
uh, to see the Angkor Wat. So that was also pretty cool. That's where they film Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie. Mm-hmm. Uh, that also, again, with my family, like big family, tour thingy. Um, I think I'd be to Europe twice. Once mm. when I was like really, really young with like some kind of program. But that was weird. Mm. Like really weird. Um, and then I went to one like a few years back with my family. Uh, so my dad, he graduated from the, the UK. Mm. So that was like pretty much like a nostalgic trip, like little trip for him. Yeah. You but travel a lot with your family, right? Yeah. Seems like. Yeah. Yeah. I do a lot of solo travel. Like I want to do as well, but then it's like, I'm very bad at planning. <laughs> I, I never really planned, like, the trip myself. So mm. I was like, uh... That's the fun part of it. So, like, not the planning part, but um, uh, I guess right before COVID, I, I think, like, that year, um, I did a solo trip um, in three countries in Europe. Mm-hmm. So I went to Greece first. Mm-hmm. And, like, the thing is, I don't plan either. I just say, like, I choose places, and then I plan by booking the tickets. Mm. So I just know that I have a place to stay and I have a ticket. Mm-hmm. But the rest is like YOLO, you know. <laughs> and then usually I would just look up when I'm there, like, oh, what's there to do around here, you know? Right. So I do a little bit of like research, of yeah. course, like what is the area mm-hmm. like and stuff like that. But I don't like, I don't like having a schedule where I'm like, on this day I need to do this, on this mm-hmm. day I need to do that. Because then I'm like, what if I get tired? Yeah, I know a lot of people who does that. Yeah, I, I can't really like if somebody else does it and I'm on that trip, mm. sure, I can do that. But if I'm, I just like traveling by myself because then I can. It's a bit more free. Yeah, I can just decide if I don't feel like going somewhere on when I wake up. Mm. And I'm just like, I don't have to. And then uh, I can just do whatever I want. Yeah. Because my dad's like the strict ones. Uh. He would be, that's why most of the time we like buy tours, mm. like package. Because, you know, there's like, a schedule a for schedule, him yeah. because that time we went to the UK like the whole Europe thingy we were like oh let's go to this area and then when we got there he was like okay so where is the shop that you want to go I was like no this is this is the area that we want to go no 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 like what's the shop where's the exact point that you want to go and what are we doing after this and where are we eating at lunch I can't do that and then I was like no no like you don't understand this is the area that we want to come look. No, but at what shop? Like why? There's a, there's a reason why we come to this area. And then he would get pissed if you don't have the answer for him. It was like, why? Why that? <laughs> Father, why must you do this? That's just his style of traveling, yeah. I guess. Because so like, he just wanted to know yeah, like, and not waste time. <laughs> yeah, it's like, chill. We're here to like explore the area. Yeah. Um, when I went to Greece, it was my first time there. Amazing country. I didn't go to Athens because I, I have a thing where I don't like to go to the capitals mm-hmm. uh, first, maybe like later if I have the chance. But I want like my first impression, if possible, for the country to be like on the countryside mm-hmm. or like a smaller village or something like right. that. Because it's just like you see the authentic side mm-hmm. of the country. Um, so Japan is like an exception because Tokyo. But... If I actually, if I had a chance, I'd probably go like outside Tokyo first and then stop in there's Tokyo like, afterwards. There's so many places that I want to go. Like Kyoto, Osaka. Maybe we should Sapporo. do that. Maybe we should go like to another. Just go like entire country. No, like at least one and then go to Tokyo in the end and then go home. Yeah. Because then we cool. can do shopping. Let's see how much money we have. Yeah. <laughs> at that point. But yeah, so um, I went to a small island uh, called Paros and... Um, I had a, like a tiny, tiny, tiny Airbnb. It's just like one room, but it's in a, um, ro- what's it called? Row house? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's like in the corner and it's right beside like a tiny, tiny church, which is super adorable. It's like, it's shaped like a triangle because it's like, the, the street goes like this, right? All right. So it's like a, in the middle. a Times Square kind of Yeah. Vibe. So it's like in the middle, but it's like in the middle of the um, little walkways. So it's not like out where it's obvious mm-hmm. it's like deep in in the actual like living quarters the hidden, the hidden church kind of like that and i because i saw when i looked at the pictures of the airbnb i thought that the 
church was the Airbnb because mm-hmm. that's like the, the outside. <laughs> But no, it's like on the side. The church was an Airbnb. Because it, it doesn't show the inside. It looks like just a house, like a triangle house. Um, but it's actually like inside beside the church. Still really nice. Um, so I went there and I was like, oh, if this is not the Airbnb, like what is it? Mm. And it was like open too, so anybody could walk in. Nobody was there. But like, I was like, oh, I'll just peek inside, I guess. Like I looked in and I saw that it was like, <laughs> baby Jesus <laughs> so I was like oh dang <laughs> it had like it had like six chairs Ooh. it's that small so I walked in I'll show you videos later are you sure it's not like a, any secret door that goes on the ground and, uh... <laughs> maybe <laughs> but yeah I walked in and then like so nice like tainted glass and like just a tiny altar um, and yeah I guess just local people use it and I spent most of my time there because the island is quite um, unknown, not unknown, but like it's not that popular, mm-hmm. but it's quite big compared to other islands. Right. So it's, um, <clears throat> it has different sides to it, right? So it has like a local bus that takes like the kids from school oh. and home yep. around the island. So I was like, you know what? I should take that bus and like go to the other side of the island because I was very chill on this mm. trip, as you know, no planning. <laughs> um so one day I was like, I want to see what the other side of the island has. So I bought a ticket uh, with the help of my Airbnb host. Mm-hmm. And uh, I took the bus in the morning and I went to different locations around the island. Um, one had like a swimming point where suddenly all of the, the rocks were just white. Like round, huge white rocks. It was super pretty. Like Greece is an amazing country. I want to go there. Yeah, it's really, really pretty. And it's like almost no tourists at all. And, um, but actually to get to that point, I had to take the bus to like this little harbor. Mm -hmm. And it's like a tiny harbor town. Mm -hmm. And this like people only speak like really um, heavily accented English basically nice. but I was like how do I get to this place and I was like looking around and then I saw like a, a guy in a booth that like sells the tickets mm-hmm. to the boat and I just went out to him and I was like I want to go here <laughs> how do I get here and he's like oh uh, actually I have a boat I'm leaving in like this it's like it's not like a hidden boat where it's like closed up I can see the place from the harbor okay. so it's just across the river uh, not the river uh, the lake mm-hmm. he's like oh, actually like I uh, you want to buy a ticket to my boat? Like, I uh, have another passenger as well. We can go, like, in 10 minutes. Cool. And I'm like, yeah, let's Perfect. do it. <laughs> so I just, like, paid him, and then he took me over there. And then I just spent, like, maybe an hour there, like, just reading. And I didn't swim because it was too cold at that time. But I was watching other people swim. <laughs> and then, like, Damn. read. It was really nice. I had, like, my lunch with me, too. Went back. And then I was like, I, has, I still have time. It's, like, just in the afternoon. Uh, I'll make my way to the other side of the island. Like, So I went like that, mm-hmm. right? So I took another bus and I went to another place which had a, it had a semi-popular beach called mm-hmm. like the Golden Beach or something like that. And apparently it's really nice to be there during sunset. That's why it's called the Golden Beach. Um, so I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go there. And I saw it. It was nice. <laughs> it was all right. Um, That's pretty anticlimactic. Like the thing is... The nature in this island is amazing, mainly because there's so many mountains and it's just like cheap everywhere. Yes. And you can walk around. It's amazing. Super nice. But anyway, I stayed there and watched the sunset and I was like, this is nice. Um, Some people tried to talk to me and I was a little bit iffy about it because they were like surfer dudes. And they were like, you want to come to our barbecue? And I'm like, nope. Hey, mommy. (laughs) Uh, Nope. Thank you for offering, though. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, it's getting late. I'm kind of scared of these barbecue guys. So <clears throat> I'm going to go to the bus stop. So I I talked to another local and I was like, oh, do you know where the bus stop is? Because the last bus, it's at 6 p.m. And it was like 5.40 or something like that, right? And the local was like, oh, yeah, it's just over there. And she just pointed like in the general direction mm-hmm. of like, over there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Ah, I see our road, so I guess that's yep. what she means. She's like, I'm like, oh, thank you. And I go to the road. I stand there and wait. A few moments later. Nothing. 
And um, uh, there's not, nobody really driving past either. Mm. But I was like, oh, you know, it's at six anyway. One hour later. Hmm. It should be showing up about right now. now. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, getting really dark. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, but it should be fine. Also, my phone is dying. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's like the worst thing that could that's happen. That's the worst thing. Um, it's already 6, um, 15 maybe. And I'm like, this is not good. This is not good. Um, it's too far to walk back. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. It was a, like, like a little village though. So I wasn't like super duper nervous, but mm-hmm. it was kind of like unsettling because I didn't yeah. have any phone. And like, uh, I don't know any places that mm-hmm. like, you know, where I could stay as a hotel and stuff like that. But I was like, okay, so this is what I mean by I don't have a plan. But like in the moment, I'm like, okay, so in worst case, I can't get back. Then I can ask like a local where the hotel is and I'll just pay for one night in a mm-hmm. hotel, right? Because <clears throat> I had money with me. Mm. Um, and I should be fine. But let's see if I can find a way to get back. So I do some walking because I'm like, Maybe this is not the bus stop after all. <laughs> was there any post or like any No, sign? but the thing is that there were no, like either, even the other bus stoppers didn't have any. Yeah, they just stop. Like when it's like, like how do you call them? They just, they just stop at like, because the, the starting point yeah. um, was like a harbor. So they had like, it's where they are parked because that's where the bus, yeah. uh, no, the, the boat stops. Oh, okay, got it. So they're like, you get off the boat and you get on the bus, right? Mm. Um, but, uh, this one was like just random cause it just drop out kids, you know, Fair. close to the houses. So I was like, mm, maybe this is not the bus stop. So then I start to walk and I get to another road, which is the main road. Nice. And I'm like, this is the main road. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> I should have walked further up. So I stood there for a while, but it's already dark. And then this same like gang, it's like a dad age guy, but it's still like creepy, the, the mm. barbecue guys. Uh, he comes on his truck. <laughs> he comes on his truck and he's like, oh, you're still here. You okay? And I'm like, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, um, where are you going? And I'm like, I'm going to this village, which is on the other side. He's like, oh, okay. I just need to drive back home and leave this at home but i can take you there but i was like i'm not going with this dude <laughs> no. And no 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 i mean he he's probably nice yeah. but as as a girl you can't really risk it so i was like oh thank you and in my head i'm like i need to find a way out here really quick <laughs> so i'm like walking and i'm like um yeah uh it's too late for a bus to come yeah so um i walk a little bit and i run into a gas station this is becoming a really long story but (laughs) i run into a gas station and i'm like i should ask them about this so i walk into the gas station and it's like this old man Mm -hmm. like working there and i'm like excuse me sir um i can't get home (laughs) (laughs) i'm lost i can't get home do you know like any taxi services Mm -hmm. or is there any bus or anything i can do uh he doesn't speak english so he's like, wait, Chotto. wait, Chotto. <laughs> but in Greek. And I'm like, oh, okay. And he goes in and he brings his wife who does speak English. And very she's lucky like, of you. Yeah, very lucky. And she's super nice. She's like, oh no, are you lost? Like, oh, I'll call a taxi for you. Just wait here. You can wait inside our shop, which is like a little mini mart. And I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I'll sit in there in the shop. Is they have like a little dog and the dog is just looking at me. <laughs> Would you walk? Yeah, and Would she's fight? like, she calls a taxi and then she's like, oh, like, here, have some snacks, have some this. And I'm like, oh my oh, God, thank nice you so her. much. <laughs> and yeah, I got a taxi. It was very expensive. Um, this is the guy, the taxi. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember that. So I feel much more comfortable because it is a taxi. So in the end, I feel safer than if it was a private car, you know? But... This guy was, first, he was very nice first, but then throughout the whole ride, it's like an hour ride, right? Throughout the whole ride, he's, get, he's getting like flirtier and flirty, and I'm like, oh my God, I need to get out. <laughs> I need to, like in worst case, I'll just ask him like, please stop here, I'll walk. Because <laughs> he's like asking me about like, oh, like where are you from? Like the normal stuff. Mm-hmm. And then slowly like, oh, like, 
how long are you staying here? Where like what what's your what's your hotel? Like this and this and that. And I'm like I think no, my dude. I mean, you don't really ask that unless yeah. like because I wasn't gonna stop at like exact. You can't yeah. even drive up to my place yeah. anyway. Um, so I was like, oh, I'm leaving tomorrow, which I was luckily. Mm. And he's like, oh, when are you coming back? Like, this and this and that. Do you want to exchange, like, contacts? And here's my business card, because in case you, you, know, you come back, you can call me and stuff like that. I'm like, oh. And then he started playing his music on the... His, his mixtape. <laughs> started playing his mixtape. He's like, what do you think about this? I did it myself. Um, I just got into music. Here's my YouTube channel. What do you think? And I'm like... It's just, like, full on <laughs> slide into a DM in real life. It's like... Oh my god! And I was like, "Oh, it's so good. Let me follow you. Follow." And then as soon as I got out of the car, I'll just like unfollow, <laughs> block, report. Oh, it was so bad. Uh, but then, like, it was an amazing experience. Like <laughs> getting lost in paddles. Nice. Mm, it was fun though. Yeah, I don't really have any issue with um, like speaking English because. Well, I haven't really done like, you know, solo traveling a lot, mm. but because even in Japan, I would say uh, from the first time I went there with my family and the, the most recent one I went, I feel like a lot m more, that was a really bad um, structure. I feel like people could speak English a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. Like this is in Tokyo, um, but outside, I think it's probably like not that many yeah. still but I went to um, so in that Europe trip what uh, that I went with my family so it was my sister and I went to uh, so I suddenly have my blank of the country France no. Italy no um, Spain Belgium yeah yeah. Netherlands hang on I'm using my phone to record, I forgot. How does it look, by the way? <laughs> um, if there's any wonky, then it's Movements. because like we try using like the phone webcam uh, program. It's like... Th th yeah. Th th um, anyhow, I went to like the southern part of... I forgot. Give me a few cl clues here. Uh, I went surfing there. Um, they speak... The word thank you is like abrigada. It's it's mm. Portugal. Portugal. I went to Portugal. <laughs> That's a word. I see. Yeah. Um so I went to the southern part, which is um definitely not the, the main city. Hmm. Um but it's known for like, you know, like very pretty beaches and um all the kind of that, like you know, natures. And so I went with my sister. We took a flight uh from Bangkok to Germany to exchange mm. uh, and the whole flight there was just one kid one little fucking kid he's not like you know toddler at all, mm. but he just kept screaming <clears throat> the entire time for 12 mm. hours right mm. 12 hours of screaming and I I luckily I'm very like you know I can fall asleep anywhere mm. got my earphones in I'm kind of safe-ish um went there went to grab coffee and we were pretty much like half dead like just sitting there and it's like contemplating our life reflection <laughs> reflecting on bad mistakes um and where then, were you sitting hmm? where were in you in the airport sitting? sorry the so airport. after i got that 12 hours plate of like pain uh, -huh. uh we got out in the germany airport got some coffee got some food and I, we were sitting in silence for like a few minutes. And then I went, sister, uh, in Portugal, is the driver on the left side or right side? Because she rented the car? Yeah. So she rented the car. And then she just went silence for like 10 more seconds. Fuck. <laughs> it's on the right side. Which is the wait, opposite no. side. Oh, wait. On the left side. On sorry. the left side. Left side. <laughs> so in Thailand, it's on the right side. Uh. She's like, Fuck. So you want to check it's on the on the left side, which we've never drove on the left side before. I did not have my driving license back then. Um, so we're like, oh, I should be fine. Because, you know, 
she rented the same model as she, the car she used to have in, back in Australia. And then we went for the transit. That fucking kid was there as well. In the plane? Yeah. Oh my God. So it was like... Still screaming? I think it was like on the, uh, what's called like the gate. But oh. luckily we got on like different flights. I see. So it was like painful. But she's still screaming. He's still screaming. Like, and the parents did nothing to stop him. Anyhow, we'll rant about that later. So we got to uh, Portugal. Uh, we spent a few more hours in the airport trying to get the car going. Uh, we got there like just before lunch, but then mm. the, like the line was so long, we spent like three hours just trying to get the car like mm. lining up, even though we already booked in advance. Mm. And they're like, "Oh, so sorry, we ran off the car that um, you booked." <laughs> so we decided to upgrade for you. You got a Mercedes. <laughs> Uh, and it's like the hand gear so mm. not, like the gears are like on the left the the side it's like on the the steering wheels mm. which none of us never used before and I was like oh what the fuck oh, oh shit no. now what because <laughs> we were hoping that like, everything's fine because it's the same model as used to, which is uh, Volkswagen mm. so we got, we got we upgraded for you Mercedes yay and so we spend about like half an hour more in the cop in the parking lot Trying to get used out. to it, like, yeah. Because um, it's like a semi-automatic, so mm. you can choose, like, your your gear. Mm. There's, like, a manual gear on the steering wheels. But then if you don't do anything, it would just be automatic. Uh, so we drove down to um, the the Airbnb, which, uh, down south. It's super nice. It used to be, like, a farm, like, stables that the previous generation... Uh, had and then the current generation they switch into like Airbnb mm. like a, a stay the breakfast like they homemade everything it's like you know oh. just a slice of you know ham and whatnot. And it's very simple anyhow so we got there we were pretty quite we were pretty tired and then we had to quickly change our clothes and go to the beach because she booked a surfing class there. the day of their arrival yeah but we thought we thought it's gonna be fine because uh, you know, like it's in the morning, you can sleep in a plane and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah. gonna be arrived there like you know before uh, twelve, so uh, the whole thing took way longer than expected. So we hurried uh, to the surfing class. Uh, it was super nice. It's like super super nice beach, but we had to wear like the the diving suit kind of because mm. the water was so freaking cold. Mm. It was so cold. Yep. <laughs> It was pain, a pain to like get that on. Yeah, I can imagine. Because I never wore that before. All right. And then um, the, the instructor, uh, he couldn't speak English quite well. It was, it was decent, but not like, you know, fluent. And after we did some surfing, uh, two of them, the instructors came up to us and then said, you know, uh, you two are the first kind of your people we ever had as a student. That's the exact word that they your used. Kind of your, the yeah. kind of your people. The first kind two, of your, your kind of people. I was like, oh, thank you. I was like, God damn. <laughs> God damn. I feel honored. And she set up a tie flag. <laughs> <laughs> and everywhere we went uh, during that like uh, Portugal trip, everyone just kept staring at us because we were, we were the only Asians there. And they could not, they could understand English, but they refused to speak back to us in English. Mm. Um, everything was quite cheap, the food wise. Everything was so salty, like very, very salty. European food be yeah. salty. And the wine is so cheap. Mm. It's so cheap. So, um, for example, you get like this much wine. For like half the price you pay in Thailand. You get like a full glass and you can have that like any time of the day. Mm. You have this thing called, uh, so you've heard of white wine, red wine, and maybe dessert wine. Mm. They have a thing called green wine. Okay. Which is sweeter and it's like way easier to drink. Uh -huh. It's like a very, it's basically alcoholic juice. Mm. Yeah, it's super easy to drink. It's So my sister and I just like, went all in just like eat drink surf um we did surf only like, only like two days 
Um, and then we went back to the, the city and everything just like tripled in price, food wise. Um, then we went to uh, British, not British, UK. UK? Yeah, that's what. <laughs> we went to British. Yeah, we went to British. <laughs> I went to UK to meet up with my parents because my parents took a flight direct from Thailand to uh, UK. Mm. And yeah, by the time we came back to Thailand, like our fate just swelled up so much. We, we probably gained from... like five kilos each. Yeah, my mom was telling me this too. Like, it's the first time on like the first few years when she was in Sweden. Like, even though Sweden is not as salty as some other like Central Europe mm -hmm. countries, it's still very salty compared to Thai food. Uh, so she was like, it's, I can. I have to like mm. cook my own food, she mm. said. <laughs> and I asked, um, some people that are like how how come like your food is so salty like this so we also booked another like like a food tour kind of guy uh in portugal which was really cool they we went to like basically the whole day just kept eating um i was like oh why like you know how come the food is so salty and then he went well you know when you are thirsty you need a drink and wine is cheaper than water mm. And when you drink, you want to eat more. So it's like a, a combination. I was like, uh, tricky Can you say pasta. Portugal again? <laughs> hmm? Say Portugal again. Portugal? Why? It's so cute. <laughs> Portugal. Because like, you will be like talking like this and then you stop and you go, Portugal? And then you continue <laughs> talking. Portugal? <laughs> Portugal? <laughs> um, Portugal. <laughs> Portugal? Portugal? <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so that was like quite fun but then like by the end of the trip we we got sick of like western food like what, what trip uh so this trip is like my sister and i went to portugal first and then meet up with my with our parents uh in uk and then go to france so it takes about almost a week each for each country mm. and so like <laughs> My parents got so sick of Western food by the time, like, we, we finished in France. Um, so, like, the last four days or three days in France, we we just went for, like, Asian food, Thai yeah. food. Yep. Luckily, we found this Thai food place, which the owner is not Thai. Mm. I think they're, like, from Laos. Mm -hmm. But then, like, so we tried to, like, speak Thai to the one of the waitress. She's and like, then, okay. <laughs> No, she, she's actually like could understand a little bit of it. But mm. then she was like, oh, oh, just wait a little bit. Went to grab her dad, oh. came out like speaking Thai. And I was like, oh, by the way, I'm not Thai. I'm, I'm Laos. Cool. But nice meeting you all. And then I, I'm pretty sure they went like, oh, okay. So this is Thai family. Because <laughs> like the flavors. The we, yeah, because the flavors we got was pretty accurate. Mm. And we're nice. like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice, yeah. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, and then like, oh yeah, like, you know, like all the, um, all of our cooks, they're like both Thais and like, you know, cool. Laos and like yeah. our neighbor countries. So, so they got the flavors pretty spot on. So like. That's nice. Yeah. We I went back there though. like twice. <laughs> because, of course. <laughs> yeah. Because our parents got so sick of the cheese and The wine. same thing happened to me too. Like, I love European food growing up in Europe. Mm -hmm. Like, because... Yeah, as I said, like I grew up with it, so I'm used to it and I like it. But um, I'm so I gotten so used to here, like a mix of everything. Mm -hmm. So if I'm tired of something, I will eat something else, mm -hmm. and it's just so easy to get everything here. So True. when I was doing my solo trip uh, last time, so I started off in Greece, right, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then I went to London to visit some friends, and after London, I went to um, Scotland. 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 I went to Scotland and after that I was going to go to Sweden. So I knew that like in Sweden I was going to meet my relatives and they were for sure going to make me like all of these Swedish dishes, right? So I'm like, I won't be getting Asian food for like a really long time. So when I got to Edinburgh, when I got to Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edinburgh <laughs> um, I met some friends there mm -hmm. and they were like, you know what? They're all Thai, by the way. Oh, cool. You know what? We should get some Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. So they took me to this authentic Chinese place in Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Edinburgh? 
I can't say it. Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Edinburgh? It's not Edinburgh. It's Edinburgh. <laughs> Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody from Edinburgh, please, please say the pronunciation in the description because I'm so confused. <laughs> it's Edinburgh. But Edinburgh? Something like that. But we went it to, sounds like, like, like French. It's, yeah, Edinburgh. it sounds like French when I say it. But it's like, so we're sitting in this Chinese restaurant surrounded by castles <laughs> and like <laughs> this old like European like it's amazing like medieval style town we're just eating like Chinese imagine food. having dim sum in Harry Potter settings yeah exactly it felt like that <laughs> a lot of rings I don't know because there's a lot of like Asian students there as well mm-hmm. so I guess that that's why they have these restaurants but yeah and I was uh, I was with my friend and plus another person I didn't know but she mm-hmm. studied there and she was saying like yeah like we come here so often because we're so tired of European food even though they're Thai because there's mm. no Thai restaurant there. Yeah. And then we drove up to... Um, um, oh, I forgot what it's called. But um, the friends that I were with in Scotland, mm-hmm. I was telling them that like, before I go to Scotland, I'm going to be in London. I need nature. I want nature so bad. Like I, I would just want to be surrounded by nature. And one of my friends was like, you know what? I got you. I know exactly where we're going <laughs> to go. And he's also like a nature guy, right? Yeah. So I was like, okay, I trust you. So I just let him plan the whole thing. We did a road trip from Edinburgh to... Uh, it's the place where they film James Bond Skyfall. Oh, that, that the scene. The lake. Yeah. That scene. That scene. So we drove two hours out in the middle of nowhere. What car do you use? Audi? Audi? Uh, Maserati? It was, it was a really fancy car, but I don't know which one it was. Uh, it was the... Bentley? Uh convertible convertible so we opened it was like drizzling a little bit but we were like we pay for this so we're gonna enjoy it so i was like wrapped up in like three <laughs> three jackets like <laughs> <laughs> i was like sitting in the back seat like this like mm, this is so nice <laughs> 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 uh, surrounded by okay so i will say scotland is one of the most beautiful countries i've ever been to so fucking beautiful like i was mind blown so um like there's a lot of places like this in europe but i've never been to one personally Mm -hmm. where it's just like like miles and miles and miles of just like hills and mountains Mm -hmm. and like the mist goes down over the mountains and stuff like that it's so fucking pretty and they would have like random ass houses in the middle of nowhere so we would be driving for like half an hour and there's like one house (laughs) <laughs> like down like below the mountain what are you doing that yeah we're like what because <laughs> in sweden we are mostly like flatland mm-hmm. unless you go like up north so we have a lot of like summer houses but they're in the forest right so we're used to like you know you walk through the forest and you come to a house Hunting. you know that kind of like horror movie kind of thing but like not horror movie but that kind of setting you know but here it's like everything is open you see so far there's no forest uh and it's just mountains and mountains and mountains it's so pretty um, but yeah, we, dr- we drove out and then, um, I just let my friend like plan everything. Mm-hmm. Right. So I didn't know where we were going. And then suddenly he's like, okay, we should be there soon. And there's like nothing in sight. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the place we're going to stay. Right. I'm like, oh, okay. And then he's like, okay, do you see it? And then it comes up and it's like this resort, not resort. It's like a hotel. Like one floor hotel. Okay. It's pretty wide, but it's like just like an island in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> of just like this little res- like resort hotel motel mm-hmm. thing. And I'm like, this is perfect. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my whole life. And thank you. I'm thank you for this. <laughs> yes. No, like, so the breakfast area is completely windows. Oh, Jesus. So you can see the whole view. And there's like a little oasis of, forest it's like really really short it's like the the size of this room like three times maybe like that small patch of forest and there's like deer walking there like eating and i'm like eating my breakfast like (gasps) (laughs) (laughs) got emotional (laughs) looking at deer it's like it wasn't that expensive either i forgot what it was but yeah like (laughs) the most expensive thing on this whole trip was the car of course. <laughs> I should have told him, like, please don't get an expensive one, but too late. Because <laughs> I just left everything with him. Yeah. Worth it. <laughs> it was really nice, though. Uh, it was funny, though, because it was three of us. Uh, so both me and the guy who planned it were are both 
nature people. Mm -hmm. And then the other friend is a city boy. <laughs> nice. And he <laughs> does not like nature, but we just tricked him into sharing the prize. <laughs> So he came there. He was sitting there super angry. He was like, the whole time. <laughs> and we're like, oh, don't you like the food? He's like, no, the food is disgusting. Everything is disgusting. Why are we out here? But there's nothing to do. There's no shops. There's no nothing. And we're like, oh, we're going to go hiking. Do you want to come? No, yes. I'm going to stay in this room and get my money's worth. <laughs> ah. uh, it was such a fun trip. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. I just remember that mm -hmm. Hong Kong is actually not the last trip I went. Oh, yeah? It was Vietnam. Vietnam. I oh. went there for a shoot. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just because, again, like work. work related. It was like, so yeah, I went to Vietnam um, for a few days. And it was pretty intense because uh, basically I flew out in the um, like daytime, got there. At night, dinner, sleep, and then the next morning, like the shoot, six a.m. shoot, mm. <laughs> um, like, and then shoot till like lunchtime, break, then dinner, di sleep, and then repeat mm. for like a few days straight. What we went, we got to like a few um, cool places, Did, like mountains, because like locations, right? We got a scout for locations, so uh, they're like some old city where it's like you know canal like in the middle there's like how do I explain this it's like a what she mean <clears throat> no we didn't go to like the main one oh, we went to like Danang huh? I think we went to Danang which is like uh, the more down south yeah uh, so it's like a city is like a a lifted elevated level mm. and then there's like a steep cool. like that kind of stone yeah. and there's a like canal like yeah. those kind of stuff and then there's a lot of like boats with um like lantern i guess mm -hmm. like in the within the boat like hanging on it's the so pretty thing. so there's like 50 of that so there's like a chunk of like multicolored blobs in the water there's like night markets and all but it's quite unfortunate because i went there when covid was a thing already oh. so it was quite scary even because mm. like there were no cases in vietnam like confirmed cases until like a few days before I went. I see. So I was like, oh shit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was, it was still quite cool because we went up to like the mountains, to the beach, like Old City. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite unfortunate that I didn't get any um, chance to like walk around. Yeah. Because by the time, like you have free time at night, but by the time you done everything, it's quite tired. Yeah. So I just have like a can of beer with the crew yeah it's like okay it's time to sleep now bye <laughs> yeah let's go to vietnam because i i have a friend she's in the u.s now but mm -hmm. she she's from vietnam mm -hmm. so i've been there a couple times to visit her she lives in hanoi okay um but we can definitely go like outside because i've only seen hanoi so like vietnam is very it's gonna become big like it's gonna be like the next big um island like yeah destination probably yeah because i, I went there and it's like a shit ton of uh, constructions mm. going on, like hotels. There's like five hotels like next to each other, right? And then there's like the size of it is just enormous. I can imagine. So like even the the hotel I went, it's just like massive already, ridiculous. So yeah, Vietnam is definitely going to become a the hot spot. Yeah, hot spot. But yeah, like the the traffic is concerning. Mm. Like, because I, I was like mm -hmm. sitting in a bus, like going back to the um, uh, what's the word, airport, right? And then suddenly there's like a like wave of like motorbikes, yeah, driving like on the opposite direction. Yep. Even though there's like a three lanes of like you know going that way in this direction, they're just driving on like outside. Yeah. It's like. But where are you guys coming from? But like, yeah. what about the other three lanes over there? So it's like, yeah, that's the one thing it that really scares me mm. too, uh, especially in Hanoi. <laughs> <laughs> the beers are really cheap though, so that was nice. Mm. Like I didn't, um, my, basically the whole trip, like I didn't pay anything, like uh, true. anything. Yeah, so the work, mm. so nice. <sighs> it was a a Japanese brand with <clears throat> American <clears throat> photographer scouting. 
uh, models in Thailand to shoot in Vietnam. Mm. Like they have like massive budget and the brand owners are super nice. They're like really, 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 really nice. Mm. Yeah. And they're like, their stuff's like really cool, but I cannot afford it. <laughs> mm. <sighs> so Japan, Japan, Japan aside, where's the first, <clears throat> what's the first um, destination that you would go to after from COVID? Talking to a lot of, um, not a lot, well, I don't have that many friends, but from talking to my friends, I what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you liar. I know a lot of people, but I don't have that many friends. He's That's saying that you guys are not his friends. Everybody who's listening right now, he's calling you out. Um, <laughs> anyway. Let's just end the episode there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, yeah. So, um, Teeny therapy. <laughs> <laughs> probably like uh, Greece is mm. one of the places. Um, uh, fuck, what's that place called? <clears throat> I forgot. Um, in Greece or Italy, maybe like in Italy. Oh, what's that? What's that place called? That that S- Sicily. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What are you trying to do?" It's so good at this. Sicily. Yeah. I uh, would really want to try that as well. Um, I've heard that the food is like way better than the. Yeah. You know. I really want to go to Italy as yeah. well. So, what are those two? Probably like, I want. I really want to go there. Um. I'm sure there's like there are a lot more um, places I want to go still. Uh, like Macau, I haven't been there. I may or may not have, but I can't remember. Never been but yeah, there. like Macau. Um, I don't know. But like, yeah, like Japan, Italy, Greece. How about Hawaii? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to go to Hawaii. Just want to chill. Yeah, I just want to chill there as well. Uh, for I can, me, I can stand up on the surfboard, but like, I can't, like we can just be like, and I like, get another bruise. Like, this one is not gone yet. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, shit. Still there. I don't think it's gonna go away. Uh, but anyway. Okay. For me, I think that it's such a like lukewarm answer, but I really want to go back to Sweden. Just to visit people, and I want to bring you Are to you Sweden as homesick? well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. I'm super homesick. Like, I don't even have that many people who still live in Sweden that mm-hmm. I know, but I just want to experience the country, and I want to bring you there too. Mm. Uh, like, want to make you taste all of these foods. I finally get to taste the OG knickerbra. The knickerbra. You had the OG knickerbra. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but like in Sweden. Yeah, true. That's where you get different. to experience the actual fika. Yeah, like just want to chill there and yeah. maybe go to Stockholm because I have, actually haven't been to Stockholm that many times. I've been there like once. Oh. Yeah, like once or twice. Um, Probably twice. <laughs> 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 but like, you know, when you're younger, you don't really mm. think about it because I'm mostly like around Gothenburg and in my town. So I just want to travel around a little bit maybe go down south would be interesting they have a very interesting accent over there that I really like I would not like pick it up yeah, <laughs> I would so not pick up any of that down in Skuani Skuani shout out to all my Skuani <laughs> yeah that yeah um, but other than Sweden so this is like first go to Japan then go to Sweden right mm-hmm. uh, definitely um after that, I really, I also want to go to Italy, if given the chance. Mm-hmm. But I think we need quite a fund for that, though, just because of the food and the loca- like the um, accommodation. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so we'll see about that. But also Hawaii, just to show, because I want to just experience it. Yeah. Maybe go like Japan, Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, that works. Mm. Like the, the like, next time yeah, we go like to Japan. S- there's so many places I want to go to Japan. Like I said, like Osaka and those kind of stuff. And mm. Oh, we should go to Australia again too. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Everywhere. Yeah. Money. Yeah. I really want... Two things I miss the most about Australia is that first, my usual ramen spot mm. that I basically live off of that <laughs> mm. for the past uh, seven years and including my cousin. So altogether, it's almost 20 years. 
and uh, Oporto. Do you know Oporto? that? Mm. Oporto. 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 So it's a uh, like a burger chain. Mm. Oh wait, maybe I know that. It looks like a sun. Maybe. So the burger is the the most famous burger is called Bondi Burger. Mm. Uh, so instead of like you know beef patty or like fried chicken, they use grilled chicken with this like chili sauce, the secret chili sauce. And it's just so good. It's just so good. It's the only thing that I eat like from that place because mm. their fries are like yeah, mm. but the burger is like. Mwah. Yeah, I want to go really for the. So the thing is, like, I've been to Australia twice now. Both times have been with family, which was like really, really, really nice trips. Mm-hmm. Both of them, but it's different when you travel like by yourself or like with friends or mm. like stuff like that, like people your age. You know, I really want to experience the coffee culture over there because I haven't been to a single coffee shop there. Oh, uh, it's. I've been to Starbucks. Oh yeah, <laughs> I I did roast you there. Yeah. I've been to Starbucks in Australia. Like, that's the only place. I didn't really drink coffee that much either at the mm. time. But yeah. Where else? I'll bring like you to my uh, my friends. Wins? Yeah, my friends. I thought you didn't have wins. Huh? Not in Thailand. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> um, <laughs> all of you have been downgraded. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, so if you watch like my old, like our old episodes, uh, Nomcore coffee. Mm-hmm. Like um, I think they're like expanding the branches as well, so it's kinda mm. cool. Um and I'm sure you're gonna love like the the food there because people are like weirdly health freak over in Australia. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. Is this gluten free? Um gluten doesn't make you more fat. Yeah. Please stop. Oh, where else? Oh, I do want to go to France, but I don't want to go to Paris. Yeah. No, so like I want Paris. to, because I've never been to France at all. Mm. But I really want to go to like south of France just to see like the vibes. Yeah. Like I went to Paris and it was very, yeah. I mean, from where I heard Paris and from the history that I read up about it, um, Paris seems to be very much the stereotype of France through an American lens. Hmm. From what I heard, because like during the fashion um, revolution, Mm -hmm. after the war, a lot of people would, you know, travel to France from America Mm -hmm. for the sheep prices and stuff like that. So they kind of like accustomed themselves to the view of American people to fit that image that they were traveling for, you know? Yeah. Because I did have a talk with one of the like driver guy that we hired for a day. And he was like, um, French people don't really uh, live in Paris mm. anymore. Like we work in here, but we don't live in here. So they would travel from outside to Paris just mm. to work and then they'd move out. Yeah. And Paris is basically like tourist. a tourist city, like straight up tourist city. Because like we went to, um, what was that shopping mall place again? In the anyhow, not sure. Basically, like there's so many um, Chinese uh, staffs there, mm. and when we, like w- when they see like people like me, they just strike up like oh anyhow. I was like, sorry, I don't speak Chinese, <laughs> and they're just like stunned and they don't know what to do next because they can only speak French and Chinese. Mm. They can't speak. They can't really speak English. They're like oh oh uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, because it is, it's for the high-class Chinese people. Yeah. So I was like, <clears throat> bias. Latest. <laughs> bias? Yeah, bias. Have I ever told you that me. bias means poop in Swedish? May have. Now you know. Bias. Bias. Shout out to bias. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, poop, poop. Yeah. Uh, what else? I, I think that's mainly the ones. Because there's a few places I want to go to, but I'm not that much you know in a rush like mm. Taiwan for example because I feel like it would be very similar to Korea in terms yeah, of like never been there as well. lifestyle because um, for Korea I just go there to chill and like go to coffee shops and mm. stuff I love coffee shops in Korea it's so nice like not the themed one but just like 
the specialty coffee shop, I guess. Because people just open it for fun and they just like serve coffee. I've never been to one. As I said, I've only been there once. Ow. <laughs> Um, just cracked your toe? No, it was my wrist. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like, I'd never really had coffee before then. So mm. it'd be interesting for me to go back there mm. and experience the coffee. Can. Because I've heard a lot of mixed feelings about um, If you go to the shop. themed cafes, it's the food is not that good. Like, it's very much like here, mm. I guess. Like, um, just for pictures. For so visual. Yeah, but there's a, like, even the ones that, so the thing about here is that, unfortunately, a lot of, we already mentioned this, like, unfortunately, a lot of the good ones are not that pretty, Mm -hmm. but over there, like, even the ones that are especially for the taste of the coffee, Mm -hmm. so pretty, so nice, but not, like, in a showy sense, it's Mm -hmm. very cozy and, like, just looks good. Yeah. Promising. Yeah, very nice, but I don't want to go to Korea yet. In a while, because I've been there so much, and I'm just like, I need to explore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like coffee in Japan is also, <clears throat> it's not flashy because mm-hmm. it, people's been drinking coffee for like ages. So it's more like very local, like it's more Western than you would expect. So people would like, you know, have like a, a what's called like a pop up bar, mm. and people would like line up to grab coffee and just. Mm. Right, so that doesn't really exist in other Asian countries. Yeah, um, which I'm really jealous of because the weather is so nice, the the streets and like it's just very like you know accessible mm. for those kind of like more hidden um, coffee shops. Mm-hmm. Like I was, I said it before, and I'll say it again. Like <clears throat> the weather in Sweden during summer is the most perfect thing you could ever wish for. Like. If it was like that all year round, I wouldn't move. <laughs> Just settle down there. It's kind of like, I heard it is kind of like that in Italy. Oh. But I'm not sure. My dad told me, but yeah. Like, but it's like in places where it's kind of expensive to live because mm-hmm. a lot of people go there for the weather. Yep. Mm. <clears throat> I also kind of want to go to Canada, like, oh. sometime because I've never been. Or apparently I have, but I don't remember it. Like, I want to try poutine. <laughs> we have poutine. Yeah, but like the the, the real one. Yeah. yeah. With all the cheese curd and I don't even know what's in there. Yeah. Just that that yeah, whole just thing. Just that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, maple syrup on snow. You. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that's a thing. I've probably been lied to. It's internet. I'm not sure. Probably true. Um. I really want to go to Japan during like Christmas or like festive like festive season. To Japan? Like Christmas. Um because like during winter they have like uh Yuki Matsuri as well or like mm. snow festival where they have like the snow sculpture like massively Mm-mm. up in like the north. Yeah. Not in Tokyo though, right? So the the Yuki Matsuri is not. Okay, because I feel like but, from what I've seen, because I've never been as mm-hmm. well, but um, from what I've seen, it feels very commercial. But like all the lights and everything. Yeah, with the lights and everything. <laughs> yeah. I just want to be like, oh my God, festive. Come to Sweden during Christmas. Yeah, fine. <laughs> I've I mean, heard a lot of, I heard that like the Japanese would order KFC for yeah. Christmas and New Year. Same as Korean. But Why? It's like a good marketing. I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Ronald McDonald's creepy in Japan. I miss I miss forest. I don't want jungle anymore. <laughs> I just want happiness. <laughs> uh, like jungle is fun when you're like on holiday, but you can't lay down in the grass, you no. know? Uh, you can't no. even do that in Australia either. Like, I mean, you can. Just the grass going to poke you through your shirt and just stab you. Mm, and there's like insects and stuff like that. Yeah. Like in Sweden, we have insects, but they don't attack you. Like in, so in Thailand, um, usually it's like a, what's it called? A wet forest? Like a humid. A man group? No, no, no. Like just the jungle by itself. Oh. It's like very humid, those kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have many like predators and like oh yeah parasites, insects, those kind of stuff. Mm. Like 
I went to a shoot once and I just it's not even like full on forest it's just like a a patch of like you know overgrown stuff right I walked out that area and then on my feet they're like three what's the word slugs um leeches leeches yeah like stuck on my feet Ugh. I was like oh my god mm, I hate it I hate it it's like black like blah, 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 blah. I hate like, it. So luckily I had like a like a spray. Um like usually like for you know tracking those kinds of stuff. I just always have it because I get bit by mosquitoes all the time. So it's like eh, you spray. It's like eh. <laughs> well, I was just like bleeding. Mm. And then the photographer came went home and found out that like he had one in his shoes and actually like squished it. There's like blood it's everywhere. Just blood everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In Australia just like Everything will. It's gonna kill you. Yeah, will either able to kill you or looks like it is able to kill you. Yeah, in Sweden, like I didn't never really realized this because I was, you know. <laughs> uh, luckily for me, <laughs> you were so naive. Yeah, I had like you know like a because we had a garden, and I would just spend my time like just rolling around in the grass, you know, and um, you can. Just go because we had a forest as well behind our house, so I would play in the forest. And even we have ants, right? But they just follow their little track, mm-hmm. and as long as you shake where you lay down, they're not gonna go onto you. Mm. Like nothing's gonna hurt you. This one, like in Thailand or Australia, one wrong move, you get by an ants, you're gonna have like massive like red dots. Yeah, the ants here are brutal, and they're so smelly. Yeah, I hate it. And like they, they um. They go into your area too. They invade your they area. They invade your personal space. Like, I don't know why you have so much area outside. Just stay yeah. outside. It's like the other day, not the other day, like a couple months ago. Mm. There's like an ant trails like in your room. Oh, it's been a while now. Yeah. And then there's like in my bedroom as well. Just like, so did this ant. It's like, what the? F- I, I didn't spill anything at all. Also, why I, live, I live quite high up. Oh yeah. Um, so I don't. I would say like not to like dox myself, but more than like ten floors up, mm. you know. And they're still coming up here, and I'm like, yeah. why? Yeah. Oh, you have cockroaches in Sweden? Ah, oh, good question. I never seen one in a house. I never seen one actually in Sweden. We probably do. I would be surprised if we don't. But they're not like in houses and stuff. Maybe like in like cellars and stuff. Right. Because in Australia, it's different species, I guess. Mm. Uh, the the one you see in Thailand is usually like, you know, more slim, like the longer one. In Australia, it's like a chunkier one. Mm. Like it's more like, mm. it's just as so scary though. Mm. <laughs> it's, I hate it. Living bro- in a boarding house. There was one I had to kill like six in one go. Jesus. It's like the worst. Like mm-hmm. I, I did stomp on it and then I didn't like pick it up yet. And then like five minutes later, there's like another one like trying to like at the old one. So I said, stomp on it again. And it just kept coming out. I was like, stop. <laughs> oh, so gross. Like, um, <clears throat> I don't mind insects. Um, like, <laughs> um, like, like, you know. <laughs> me, me not like insects. I just stop this pattern of speaking it's getting annoying like for myself like for myself <laughs> how do I stop <sighs> so I don't mind insects as in I can watch them they don't look gross to me mm-hmm. Um, but I do not want them on me Oh no, no! and no, cockroaches no. have a very very ridiculous habit of jumping onto you. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, why? You don't bite. What are you doing? Stop. I just want to touch you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, oh, physical touch. <laughs> <laughs> like, I never Take had me, that. mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they uh, gross out by humans. So, don't come then. Exactly. I don't know why they would just... <laughs> like, go away. Stay out. Go to the jungle. Have you got clawed on by... House gecko, the 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 skinny, white looking one in Thailand. Clawed on like they just 
<laughs> no. on your legs. I've had that. Um, they yeah, but I'm like so high, my thighs are like, ah! They're very squishy. I've touched one before because oh, like it. I had to move I it out. It. I hate it. They're like see through as well. <laughs> like see through and, um, and when they get rid of the tail to distract you. Yeah, it's like, Bleh. and I'm like, dude. Do you realize stop that? Stop littering. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one yeah. of my cousin got, uh, it fell down. It was a rainy On day. Um, and then he was walking to my house mm. and something fell on his head mm. so I thought it was, you know it could be a flower or everything and then it sli- slid down oh, on his face <laughs> and it got kind of hang on to his lips like and then eh, on his hand and he when he fig- figured it out it was um, a house gecko he's like shit <laughs> it's like eh, let me wash my mouth <laughs> uh, yeah like as long as it's not on me even geckos and insects and stuff it's fine I quite like like uh, tarantulas because no. they're, they're kind of like no. hamsters. Spiders are no, no. Yeah, I'm totally fine with it. I understand the fear of it because it's like the fear of heights. It's the same thing, right? But like for me personally, I don't, I don't have it. As long as you don't go on me, I'm <laughs> fine. Stay out. I don't have arachnophobia, luckily. But I don't like having it in my close proximity. Yeah, this is my room. Actually, I do have like tiny spiders here. No, those ones are fine. Yeah, I like to keep them around because they catch other insects. The big ones are just... Mm, yeah. Which makes my skin crawl. Yeah, get your own house. Or but pay then, rent. <laughs> <laughs> but then the one in Australia, it's so big to the point where I can eat cockroaches for you. So mm. <laughs> it's like... Uh, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of benefiting for you to have it. If Depends on like if you can kill spiders or you can kill cockroach. Yeah. So... Also, um, for me, even when it comes to spiders that I can keep in my room, mm-hmm. if it goes onto my bed, it's like game over. You're getting out of here. You're dying today. Because <laughs> it's like... So you've chosen death. <laughs> yes. Uh, like my bed is... Usually they don't. I don't know why. Because I tell them not to. <laughs> They're like, oh, all right. <laughs> Please, usually uh, don't. don't go onto my bed. Yeah. Like, all right. Respect. Understandable. Like, <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> But yeah, as soon as it gets on my bed, I'm just like, this is the worst day ever. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, it's like, feels invasive, I guess. Oh, well. I think it's a really good time to stop it here. I think so. Yeah. Okay, thank you for watching again. We rambled on a lot because yeah. we missed traveling so much. Yeah, we went on a lot of tangent. Mm. <sighs> when can we travel? When will this whole... Rona thing gonna disappear. <laughs> Who I mean, knows? There'll probably be a new one to replace it, but yeah. But oh well. Hope you guys can travel soon as well. Yep. And let us know what country you want to go to next. Oh, any suggestion to you know? True. True. Which which is a good choice of traveling. We add it onto our list. <laughs> Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for watching and listening and uh, we will see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye. And peace.